Hi, everyone. Uh, it has been a long time uh, without developing any tool uh, using Excel VBA. So now I got a chance to uh, create an Excel sheet, uh, I think, which is very useful when you're doing a connection design. So this is the one which I've been planning for a very long time, and uh, I didn't get the time to do it. But uh, yeah, during this holidays, I got a bit of time, and uh, yeah, so I created a sheet, I think, which will be very useful for everyone, those who are designing a connection, uh, those who are doing connection design, and, and also for those uh, who want to give uh, uh, posters to the structural engineer for connection design engineer to do the connection design. Okay, so yeah, so let's go straight into the topic. Yeah. Let's say when you want to design any connection, uh, let's say I want to design this mid uh, ridge connection. So what generally I'll do, I'll select these beams. These are all the beams I'll identify and then, yeah, and I'll extract the forces for this uh, beam end for summary and I'll design. Okay, so I'll go here. I already created a group of those beams. Uh, so these are all the load cases and I'll select a group I've created for those beams. So I'll get a force here. So for this force, I'll design. But uh, the problem in being here is the force what we're extracting here. Uh, if you see in the stud, um, yeah. Yeah, if you see here, here, uh, the nodes of are on this side where we are designing connection. So these are all 6, 14, 22, 30, 38, 46. Uh, but uh, if you see the uh, result, what we got from STAD, uh, like, just a little bit. Yeah, if you see here, uh, we are getting force on this side, 57, 58, 59, and 60. If you can see here, make bigger. See, uh, yeah. So these are all the nodes which are not uh, at the red location, but still we are extracting uh, forces for this and we'll end up designing for these forces. Okay, uh, what happens sometimes is uh, uh, the forces and the moments in this location, uh, in this location might be less compared to the moment here. Uh, in the current situation, actually the moments along this are higher compared to the moment at this point. Okay, let's turn on and see what the load case if you see, if you see here. Yeah. Yeah, here the moments are a bit high compared to the moments that ends. Okay, and also we have like different scenarios. Uh, let's say in wind case. Yeah, we see here uh, in some particular cases that may be uh, the uh, no uh, the force along this 58, 58 and 60, this end of this beam may be higher. So what will happen, the connections will not work uh, because we're designing for a natural forces which are not along this red side. So to solve that, what I have done is uh, I've created a Excel sheet where I'm extracting the forces from STAD and I'm filtering the forces only for this location. So that way what happens, I'm designing for the actual force, what has been there here. Okay, so to start with, what we have to do is, so there's the Excel sheet, uh, this is the Excel sheet. Okay, I'll clear here. Okay, I'll clear more of the things. Okay. okay, so what I'll do first is I'll go to STAT here for processing. Here, I'll not go to report here. I'll go uh, report here. And uh, before doing that, you have to select the beams manually, or you can create a group and uh, you can select uh, you know, based on that. And then you have to go here. Here, you have to select beam and force. And here, uh, you should always sort by end force, any, anything you can select so that uh, it helps in giving us a um, output in a required format. So that is easy to, for us to filter the values. And then I'll select the load cases, which I want to do connection design. Okay, that, okay. So you will have the forces. So you can select copy. And I'll go back to Excel sheet. I'll paste in the red uh, cell. Yeah, so now force are ready. So next I need to know uh, uh, like where I am designing the connection, which side, uh, whether this connection I want to design or this connection. So definitely this connections. So what I'll do, I'll select these nodes. Okay, I got all these nodes. So I'll come back to Excel and I'll go to another next sheet, the C-O-N. 
platform. So here I'll press this button, uh, selected node list. So what happens, it will extract those nodes which are uh, highlighted in stat and it will report it in Excel. And uh, and also even if you want to know what are the beam size or anything, so you can do it, but it is not, not required uh, because we already know what connections we are designing and uh, so it need not, yeah. So this beam you can select. And if you click here, selected beam, it gives the uh, beam number along with what is the size, okay? So here it is uh, UB533 by uh, 201 by 101, okay? And for this, we are uh, designing the connection. And these are all the beam, but we are not using anywhere uh, here because already the force are extracted for those beams. Yeah, here uh, for 66 and all this, uh, yeah, 12 beams already extracted. And out of 12, we'll have only six nodes for which the connection need to be designed. Okay, so what I've done is like I've, uh, I've segregated the nodes number and also the ports I've copied. So next thing what we have to do is here I've created a button, generate connection summary for selected nodes. So for this selected nodes, so it will create a summary and it just does is like it will filter, it will copy paste only, only the nodes for which uh, we have to design the connections. Okay, I'll click here. And uh, the main reason is in uh, most of the softwares, uh, by default, uh, there is option for generating, uh, like getting a connection uh, forces, end forces for the required location, but instead it's not implemented still. So I think there's one of the drawback of what we have, uh, but if we look into sophisticated software, so where it is very easy to extract the beam end forces for the required uh, uh, nodes. Okay, so it is already, it is, uh, yeah, already, the force extracted here uh, for summary for all this uh, uh, beams. So let's, I'll take a snapshot of this. Let's just compare. Okay, already have here these forces. I'll take, these are all the new forces what are extracted now. I'll paste this next to it. So now we can see. Okay, so it's extracting for 22, 6, 46, 38, only for these nodes. So which are reported in this sheet, 6, 4, 26, and these are all this um, iterate beams, uh, 6, 14, 22, 30, 38. So yeah, out of which, uh, yeah, so here uh, in 22 node, we have moments higher, and 6 node, we have moment along y direction is higher. So we can use this entire uh, detail and for the connection design. So that will be uh, accurate compared to what we are going to design here. This is not the accurate for because uh, the nodes, if you see here, these are all the nodes uh, which are away from the uh, what we are uh, connection we are designing. And uh, yeah, because the, this is this was the issue which I've been facing long time, like I've been doing connection design for more than. Uh, six, seven years now, but uh, this is the one which I want to develop because we always design the uh, connection on con conservative side, but sometimes uh, we'll have a, a certain restriction where we have to restrict a certain bolt sizes or plate sizes. So that time, I think this will be uh, very much useful and this is the accurate design. Yeah, I think uh, this will be useful uh, for anyone who's uh, intended to get uh, b mind forces and connection design forces. I'll keep this uh, sheet in uh, video description. You can download. And if any queries, anybody can, you know, can always uh, get in touch with me. Thank you.